lecture. In this task, we're going to simulate the magic eight ball. So the first thing to do is to on start output the number eight. So we can do that. I'll let you finish that off. And then it says on shake. So that's an input on shake. What we want to do here is output hello when we have the value 1 and if we randomly choose the value 2 we put the message by so again first thing is that we probably need some random number so I'm going to maths I'm getting pick a random number and this one is between 1 and 2 so we've got two values either 1 or 2 now this requires what the conditional statement so I've got if something is true do that or something else I'm going to drop that into the shape if something is true then I'm going to say I want to output a message so I need hello string for hello I need an exclamation mark for that and also to output by those goodbye Okay, so those are the things that I want to do. True or false. So you see how I've built that up. If something is true, now it depends on this number. So if this number equals one, so where do I get that? Well, again, we nip into logic, and hopefully we can do some comparisons. There we have it. This is the comparison block. So this number, if the random number that I picked. 1 to 2 equals 1, then I'll do the first bit. And this is a statement that we can drop into there. We can see a random number between 1 and 2. And if that random number equals 1, I'll print hello. Otherwise, I'll print goodbye. And another basic thing is that I think I need to pause. So I can do that inside the on shake. And you can set the pause and you can set that to five percent of time which in this case should be 200 milliseconds. So you should then have start with showing the number 8, and then when we shake it, we get a number between 1 and 2, and we display hello if that number is 1, and by if that number is which is going to be 2. And then we can pause for 200 milliseconds, so you need to change that, and then save what you've been doing. You can look then at the JavaScript, and you've got math.randomrange1, 1, 1 or 2, etc. So if you're into JavaScript, you can have a little look at that and interrogate it. Most importantly, you can then copy it and paste it into your marking engine.